Yo, still bills, what's the deal, man? I'm heading back to Fall City for the day, man. Motherfucking, I got there yesterday. Nobody was even there, so I just went back to the city. Didn't unload the truck, so I just had to hop in the truck and head back out here. So I'm about 30 minutes out of there now. But peak game, though, man. Um, if I just, I'm, I'm I, you know, I, I had to stop like halfway through, man. I'm listening to the um, on Trill Boxing, Trill Boxing Talk. They're interviewing Mickey Bay. can't see how badly Tank is being mismanaged and you can see how much Floyd and Leonard they don't know exactly what it is that they're doing when it comes to dealing with a fighter's career you need to go listen to that interview you need to go listen to that interview because he is is so like this jaw-dropping the amount of information that he's giving out out there, man. Um, what's going on with Tank is we see the talent in the kid, but the thing is they're trying to, you know, they're trying to, you know, turn him into this pay-per-view attraction, and he's not going to get to that level if he's not fighting, if he's not going through the gauntlet of opponents that Floyd with. Floyd made with the nose better because of who he's been in the ring with. He knows the grind that he had to get on in order to obtain that level of superstar that he would eventually get. Floyd doesn't get to Floyd isn't Floyd isn't the A side to the the biggest boxing match as far as pay per views are concerned. He's not he's not A side to that if he doesn't go through Oscar De La Hoya, if he doesn't go through Zab Judah and uh, 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 Arturo Gotti and, and Diego Corrales and goddamn. Demarcus Corley when he got busted up and you know and eventually go on to fight the, you know uh, uh, um, the Manny Pacquiao's of the world you dig what I'm saying like he doesn't get to where he's at if he doesn't go through that gauntlet Canelo Alvarez Shane Mosley Miguel Cotto Ricky Haddon he has been through some legitimate Hall of Fame fighters so he knows what it takes to get to you know to, to get to a to get to a level of um, success in your career to where you're you're arguably the goat. He knows what it takes. He knows the sacrifice and the dedication that it takes. So for him to make this you know the matchmaking around Tank so soft is just a testament as to you don't know what it is that you don't know what the fuck it is that you're doing. Which Mickey Bay says he it's a hobby to him. He doesn't know how to promote. He doesn't know how to promote. You can't sell, you can't sell anybody with any sort of common sense on Isaac Cruz. And then when the fight doesn't go the way that it, you know all his other fights have went, you try to hit us with the oh man, the name of the game is hit and not get hit, which would be cool. I can I can respect that. I love the sweet science, but the thing is y'all aren't billing him as that. Y'all aren't promoting him as that. Y'all are promoting him as this destructive fighter that is come for destructive. And Tank has skill, but y'all are billing him as uh, 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 as destructive. Not sweet, you know. Not the sweet science. That isn't, you know, that isn't the um, that isn't the stigmatism attached to Tank Davis. So. him underperforming against Isaac Cruz is going to go against him on the strength alone that he not only was he supposed to really separate himself if not knock out Isaac Cruz he wasn't even supposed to be in there with Isaac Cruz because he's more accomplished than Isaac Cruz he wasn't supposed to be in there with him to begin with he honestly ain't even supposed to be in there with motherfucking Rolly Romero why? Because Rolly Romero is who exactly? You dig what I'm saying? Y'all are, you know, y'all are softly matching him up. Like, you know, Mario Barrios, I'm not mad at. It was a good win, and I had to eat crow. Like I said, for any 
of those top middle, uh, not middleweight, any of those top welterweights, any of those top lightweights would have did Mario Barrios the same way. Because Mario Barrios was an unproven junior welterweight. It was unproven. So y'all keep trying to go around all of the shit that's going to turn him into the star that y'all potentially want him to be. Y'all keep going around that and keep trying to pull the wool over our eyes. He's a three-division world champion in what stratosphere? How is he a three-division world champion when he is he has never caught a title at 35? You know, what, what title did Mario Barrios have? Do not come at me with no interim shit. That's not a title. So y'all keep doing, you know, y'all 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 going to strategically move him and swerve him around all the potential opponents that can turn him into what it is that y'all want him to be. And then tell us, you know, well, oh, don't stream the fights. These fighters do it all. You know, they put they they risk it all to go in there and entertain y'all. Yada yada yada. All right, we'll put them in there with the fights with the fighters that we want to see. The thing is, with these Instagram followers, these tw these Twitter followers and shit like that, that doesn't translate into viewership, man. So the motherfucker, the same motherfuckers that are following you, they'll watch your fight when it's on YouTube, or better yet, they'll watch your highlights. They're not about to come out of pocket and watch your ass fight. More than likely, no. They don't follow the sport like that. They're not they're not boxing junkies. You can't get away from the soil. You want to galvanize the people, the hardcores. That's the attention that you want. You want to be able to galvanize them because even if you're not known to the masses, you at least have a solid enough base amongst the people who are diehards for the sport. You have you at the very least you have their support. Looks like y'all keep trying to go around out, go around that demographic and reach out to some motherfuckers who honestly don't even matter. And y'all can y'all can y'all can persuade them and pull the wool over their eyes and tell them, oh man, yeah, you know, tank a three division world champion. The fact that you got cats like Brian Custer repeating that shit and all these other motherfuckers repeating that shit is like, yo, y'all know better. Y'all keep y'all keep thinking we're stupid. Don't think we're stupid. Tank Davis is, Tank Davis said, Tank Davis is, Tank Davis said. Like, bro, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. And after hearing Mickey Bay's interview, it's a testament as to what it is that I've been saying that they not. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all don't have a clue what it is that y'all doing. Y'all think because y'all have NBA, you know, y'all been in this profession for as long as you've been in it, or y'all have degrees in that field, that that automatically puts y'all at a higher level. Which, you know, it, it, honestly, it does. But sometimes, it, you know, y'all making it seem as if it's rocket science. There's no way of getting around fighting credible competition. There's no way of getting around it. There, there's no. I, I see. Well, I mean, it works for some people. I see some dumbass nigga tell me. He don't think Lomachenko versus Tank will bring in the amount of viewership that Roly Romero versus Tank would. And I was like, yeah, I, you, you, you know, you a dude that just, I, I can't even, I don't even think I can have a conversation with you, with you on a personal level because you're easily persuaded. We couldn't talk about politics or nothing like that. We couldn't talk about social ills of the ghetto. We couldn't do that because just whatever, whatever a motherfucker is going to tell you and you see, oh man, it's words, it's on TV and the, it's, it's niggas on TV that's famous. They know what they're talking about. They got my best interests at heart. They know what it is they talk about because they in the position that they're in, so they must know nothing. So they must know something. So that's who side I'm gonna go for, as opposed to peeling back the layers and going through, going beneath the surface. You can't fool the hardcores, and those are the people that you really want on your side, not motherfuckers who recreationally come in and, and you know come in and, and come in and out of the sport. You know what I'm saying? You can't get basketball playing ass niggas who barely watch boxing and think you want to just galvanize them and they automatically get their, you're going to get their $80 in the pay-per-view. You're going to get the no. It's not going to happen. 
and how they're doing tank is a testament to what Mickey Bay is saying. They don't know what the fuck they are doing. They don't know. Homeboy said Leonard Ellaby got to get permission to get a car, dog. Like he has no authority. He has no authority. And the fact that his other niggas practically begging this man to promote their fights, and it's, it's like, bro. What the fuck is going on over there? It's like it's tank or nothing, man. The thing is, like, what happens when you did what happens if this situation with Tank with you know this you know this this him running somebody over or whatever? What happens if he has to actually go sit down? Damn, y'all gotta excuse my my camera or my phone. It's is the road is you know it's pretty bumpy in the road. But what happens if the tank has to actually go sit down? What happens if he has to go sit down? What happens if the tank has to go actually go sit down? Who is next in line? Who? You look at the zone. Canelo left. Alright, cool. You know. He didn't leave, but he went, he you know, he saw business elsewhere. But look at the string of talent that they have on the zone. The fact that they're developing talent, or, you know, abroad speaks to them. They're developing Conor Ben, Carlos Gungora. He's not a factor as of now, but he'll get there eventually. Devin Haney has already said, I'm not working with nobody. I'm working with Eddie Hearn until I retire. Ryan Garcia. They're building talent around to really, you know, uh, 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 uh. To set the foundation of the zone, Anthony Joshua, arguably the second, the first or second face of the sport globally, is between him and Canelo Alvarez. They're not fixated on one individual, but the money team, they're fixated on Tank and nobody else. I'll hit you back, son. They're fixated on Tank and nobody else. So. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? And because people are so, you know, they don't want to go against the grain and call y'all out on the bullshit that y'all do, they'll okay the shit. They'll bow down and accommodate y'all bullshit so they don't look like they going quote unquote off code and speaking against a brother that's in a power position. They'll bow down to y'all. They'll bow down to Al Hangman. Oh man, that's a brother running that over there, so we win it. Despite the fact he's doing terrible business within the, as far as managing and developing the talent over there on the PBC side of the street. It's real informative what Mickey Bay is saying, man. And a lot of the shit that they said they did to him. How they sabotaged him and took him off motherfucking the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather pro, uh, and, uh, undercard as the co-main event. Took 1.2 out of his pocket. And made him fight on another... Oh my God. It's, it's terrible what they did with it. His social media. Wow. And the man, now he said it wasn't, it wasn't Floyd Mayweather per se. It wasn't him, but the fact that he's not hands on with everybody, man, it's like, yo, that's, you know, that speaks for itself. If you're gonna have people managing and representing your brand, you have to make sure that they have experience in that field. And at the moment that, you know, well, I don't know about the moment, because I'm sure after, you know, the dude was a crash dummy. He was, you know, he was a guinea pig or whatever, to my knowledge, how they, you know, how he's making it seem, he was a guinea pig. He used Mickey Bay as a guinea pig to upstart his career. Now he got like 30 plus fighters or whatever. I were. Cool. But he had to be the sacrificial lamb for that. He had to be the sacrificial lamb. And they still just don't know what the fuck they doing. And you can see it with Tank. You can see it with Tank. If Floyd was as smart as people believe that he was, and Leonard Ellaby was as smart as people believe that he is, you know, as people believe that they that he is, they will go in the direction of the zone. 
and start getting apps. ES fucking PN did it. ESPN did it. Because that's the way of the future. Pay-per-view is dwindling. So the likelihood of you turning Tank into this global icon on, you know, the rival Canelo Alvarez is more than likely not going to happen. Canelo Alvarez is where he's at now because he's, what, a four-division world champion? He's undisputed, and he's been through a gauntlet of competition to galvanize his spot in the sport throughout the annals of time. Tank is yet to do that. If Tank was a retired today, with uh, nobody, Tank's name ain't gonna ring bells. And that's their fault because they're not matching him up with the Devin Haney's and the Teofimo Lopez's and the Ryan Garcia's and the goddamn Lomachenko's. This man is on record with saying, I might not fight top competition until 2022, 2023. He said that, and he's content with that. He's being groomed to be like that. He's being groomed. He is being groomed. And by the time he by the time he realized how detrimental that is to his career, he's gonna fuck. He's gonna be at an advanced age. He's 27, man. That's you know you're, you're coming up with your prime years around that time. They don't know what they're doing with this kid. They need to fall back and let somebody else hang. Like, no, bro, you know, you got, you, you know, you got the money and all that to put up in front for shit like this, man, but you're not necessarily him. You're not him, bro. It's about that money, that money, that money, that money. It can't be about that money because there's other fighters in the division that are getting paid more than tank. Like, it's just really not rocket science, man. It's, it's not rocket science. Y'all keep, y'all just, y'all pull the wool over people's eyes, man. And because y'all are who y'all are, they fall for the dumb shit. It's nothing wrong with taking a step back and saying, all right, man, let me humble myself and let me seek advice. Let me follow the ways of a motherfucker who knows how to promote What would convince y'all that y'all can go up against football on a Sunday night and expect to get break 20, uh, 200,000? And we still ain't even got the numbers from this fight. And they're saying that the numbers were uh, 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 were somewhat inflated on the, on the, on this past couple of pay-per-views. Like y'all just, y'all keep trying to you can't fool motherfuckers who know what it is that they're talking about, who have minds of their own, and they ain't easily duped by all, oh, man, that's a brother over there. Nah, I mean, man, it's, it's a beautiful thing that his brother's over there getting other brothers to the bag, but the thing is, man, niggas have done some fuck shit. Y'all are hurting the sport. Y'all are hurting the sport. Trying to build this man as something that he's not. And he could possibly be that. But the thing is, y'all are not willing to put him in there with certain fighters. Floyd has built his entire career around the fact that all oh, undefeated, protect the whole preserve the whole day. Now you have to live that same ideology vicariously through Tank. It, it's just, it's not smart, man. It, it's, it's not smart. It's not smart. While Tank is while Tank is being bubble wrapped and protected from all these other fighters, the majority of them are fighting credible competition. The type of competition that's going to expose the holes in their game. So they're better prepared when they consistent when they take another step up in competition. Resume matters, man. I, I keep trying, you know, I've, I've argued that with people a whole bunch of times, man. When you fight credible opponents no fighter is going to be the same man so you're going to get a multitude of different looks so that makes that makes it easier to game plan for them and it makes it to adjust easier in the ring as the fight is going on and unfolding because you've been here you've done that you dig tank isn't that like how is tank going to be able to deal with the likes of a fucking Devin Haney Is an incredible outboxer, an incredible movement, laser light jab, speed and timing. How's he gonna be able to do it? Length. Mario Barrios does, and 
Jose Pedraza does not give Tank the same looks of a Devin Haney. Don't give me the fact that he's chinny. You got to get to his chin first. You got to get there. How's he going to be able to deal with the likes of a Teofimo Lopez? Who you fight matters. That shit matters. And y'all are not building, y'all not putting him in a position where he's going, he's, uh, 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 where he could be this global superstar or even a national superstar. Y'all aren't doing that because y'all are protecting him. And it's stupid. And it's a testament that y'all don't necessarily know what the fuck y'all doing. Y'all don't. Y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna butcher this man's career, bro. And I, you know, it's, it's, it's real aggravating arguing with people who are just so pro PBC and pro Mayweather that they can. I seen this to the uh, uh, Bushido. Shout out to Bushido Boxer. He's the one who hit me to the shit. Just on his own, um, you, know, you know, he said something about it in an interview and he's active in these boxing forums on Facebook. And because, and just like, and this is a prime example as what I mean by people who are so pro PPC and pro Floyd Mayweather. They blame Mickey Bay sabotaging on him losing to uh, uh, Vargas. They blame that on him. Go with you, you went in there, you got knocked out, y'all. Just dumb shit like that. Just dumb, that's, that, that, that's, that is just, that's so dismissive. You are, you don't want to see the, you don't want to see the fallacies in Floyd Mayweather and his team's ways. You would just, you would just put that all off on their fighter. We'll put that all you you give you'll completely disregard their wrongdoing and highlight Mickey Bay, a dude who's fighting and is at risk of being a, a victim of a circumstance. You won't put that off on him. You won't put that off on him. Fighters lose, dumbass. That's what happens. That's what happens in the sport. Niggas lose. That does that isn't to tarnish your career. That doesn't tarnish your legacy legacy. Marvin Hagler is one of the greatest middleweights ever. He avenged both of his losses. And retired with Floyd, uh, not Floyd, but with Ray Leonard because he, they know he won that fight. He's like, I ain't about to let them disrespect me like that. So I'm saying, man, y'all got to stop, man. There's nothing wrong with calling people out on their fuck shit. There's nothing wrong with that. If it was anybody else, if it was your man, if it was any other, anybody else... Why y'all letting him get away with that? That's what that would be y'all get at. Why y'all letting him get away with that? Why y'all letting him get away with that? He's wrong. And in this situation, Floyd and Leonard and them niggas and Al Hammond are wrong. Vicky Bay's interview is extremely informative, man. Shout out to Trill Boxing Talk. Shout out to fucking, shout out to the LDBC, my nigga. Like, you know. Shout out to them niggas. They do good work, man. It's just certain shit I can't go to them for. I can't go to them for certain shit. When it was time to, when I wanted to hear something refreshing about Teofimo Lopez and how motherfucker, I wasn't the only one who felt outraged about him saying nigga, I knew who to go to. I knew who to go to. I knew who to go to because I knew it was, some, it was some solid brothers right there that wasn't going to stand on that dumb shit. They was going to let it be known. Nah, I ain't feeling that shit. He owes niggas an apology. He this and that dirty wrong is two left feet. He's not black. Not one of them, oh, well, he let, he know he a minority, he a person of color. No, he's not black. That was wrong as two left feet. But when it came to the Wilder debacle, I knew who not to go to, which was them niggas because they're pro Wilder. That's they man. Understandable, but I'm not fucking with it. And I will call him out on that. Because a lot of all that shit proved to be bullshit. But shout out to the niggas nonetheless. I know what and what not to get out of that. Uh, you know, out of the cats. I know you gotta know how to tell, all right, cool, I can intake this and I can't, I, you know, I gotta leave that bullshit out. What Bruce Lee say, keep what works, discard what doesn't. That's a dope ideology to live by, man. But nonetheless, 
shout out to Trill Boxing Talk and him him, uh, him having Mickey Bay on there, man. That was a really informative interview. That was extremely informative, man. Um, it's a shame that, you know, he's about to fight Tevin Farmer. I, I don't know when. I, I really want to, I'm, I'm most definitely going to be, in, you know, tuning into that. And I didn't, you know, I haven't heard, from, me personally, I haven't heard from Mickey Bay since the Vargas fight, since he lost the Vargas. That was literally the last time I heard of him. That was, that was years ago. That's six, seven years ago. And that's what he said. He got six or seven years out of his prime completely eradicated fucking with these litigations and being mismanaged. That shit is wild. That shit is wild. So everything that that man was saying in that interview was proven to be true. And we're seeing it with Tank. We're seeing it with Tank. I don't hear shit about Andrew to he, uh, 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 to, uh, to Betty. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't see shit about Kevin Newman. I do not see shit about these, uh, these you know, these Mayweather out of the Mayweather gym. I don't see it. I don't see it. Even Badu Jack left. I do not see these niggas, man. Like, who else is out the money team, bro? Are y'all gonna give everybody, are y'all gonna give anybody else a shot, or is it just about tanker bus? Cause that's really a shame. Cause Kevin Newman is nice. Andrew Tibetti is nice. But it's just about tank. You dig? Like that's the shit. They don't know what they're doing. They don't have a clue what the fuck they're doing. And you are seeing that ever so clearly with tank. Cause they just will not do, they won't do right by him. That little penny and he uh, change that he's getting. Imagine how imagine how much that should have go, you know, how much more than bad, you know, than bags of blossom. If he gets in there, he beats the likes of a Devin Haney. He beats the likes of a Teofimo Lopez, of a Sigley Lomachenko, or Ryan Garcia. Hell, put him in there with some put him in there with uh, you know other top dogs in the division. Put him in there with Nakatani. Put him in there with Richard Cormay. Put him in there with these cats. Those are credible lightweights. Put him in there with Michael Rivera. Put him in there. We can we can see you and Jojo Diaz. Put him in there. Put him in there with Javier Fortuna, man. Put him in there. Put him in there with Luke Campbell, Jorge Linares. Put him in there with somebody. With a pulse. Veterans who aren't so far out of it that they, you know, they're injured during the match. Yet they still find ways that find success against you. Put him in there with somebody that's going to give him good work. And there's a credible name. Jorge Linares isn't the same Jorge Linares from Luke Campbell and goddamn uh, Lomachenko. But he, he he's still a credible and game opponent. Man, that old head was mad as a motherfucker. Put him in there. Tell him sink or swim. Ain't nothing wrong with sinking. As long as you learn how to swim. But you can't because you have to preserve a nigga O. You have to preserve the O. Anybody, I, I would, I would, I would advise anybody who is a Floyd Mayweather fan and just refuses to acknowledge the bullshit that him and the PBC be on, go watch that interview. Oh, are you serious right now? Go watch that interview. Tell me, motherfuckers, gonna be on bullshit. Go, go watch that interview, and let let that man put you know let that man put gems in your ear. Shout out to Mickey Bay, man. I wish you the best. I almost definitely be will be tuning in to watch you and Tevin Farmer. You got my word on that, King. You got my word on that, and I'm gonna finish that interview on my way back to the town. But um, 
Yeah, man, that's how I'm feeling about it, man. Y'all like and subscribe. Let me know if I'm burnt the fuck out or if I'm on or something, man. Deuces.